hope you're all doing well. It's gotten so cold lately. It's like 2 degrees outside at 7.30 a.m. And the sun is just barely starting to shine. You can see a sliver of it is covered up by the clouds because it is winter. It's actually Saturday, but I woke up early today because I kind of want to motivate myself to do some self-improvements and make better habits. It's very easy to get stuck into winter depression because the days are very gloomy and short. But I also think that it's the perfect time to build better routines and focus on yourself, on your personal growth. I've mentioned this before, but somehow I just feel extra motivated during the last few months of the year. September to December always feels like, like a reset for me. It gets me thinking about all the goals I've set, for this year and what is still left to accomplish. These months feel like a chance to reset and lay the groundwork for the next year. One of my long-term goals is actually to speak better German. I started learning German seven years ago and I've been here for six and a half years, but like I said, I'm still not fluent. This year is the first year where I use German on almost a daily basis because I use it for my work and every single day I still wish that I could feel more comfortable speaking this language so that I could explain things better to my colleagues. Being really honest, I'm still not confident in speaking German. Like whenever I'm in a bigger meeting where there are a lot of stakeholders and colleagues that I don't usually speak to on a daily basis, I just... my heart just always pounds before I have to say something because I still lack the confidence. I've been thinking about going back to classes to learn German again for the past few months and I'm finally doing it with Linguda. What I love about this platform is that their lessons cover all aspects of language learning, grammar, reading, speaking, and communication. Lingoda offers different learning plans that you can tailor to your needs. Between juggling my full-time job, creating content, and just living life, I need something that fits my schedule. With Lingoda, I can book classes whenever it works for me. The small class sizes make it feel really personal and intentional. Plus, there's tons of self-study materials to help you stay on track between lessons. Now is the perfect time to give it a try because Lingoda is having their biggest sale of the year. You can sign up for a 7-day free trial where you can attend three small group classes or one private class completely free. And if you do decide to continue learning with Lingoda, all language courses are currently discounted up to 40%. You guys can get all of that benefits and discount if you sign up using my referral link. And on top of that, you also get an additional 20 euro off of any course. So if you want to stay productive towards the end of the year and you've been thinking of learning a new language or maybe improving one, then there's no better time to start than now with Lingoda. lunch and I'm already getting ready again because 
I need to go out again. This is not the norm with me. I'm pretty much a homebody. But today is jam-packed with schedule from like 8 a.m. I went to the gym because, you know, one of my goals for this year was actually to move regularly like three times a week. And I was actually doing that in the beginning of the year. I was going to Pilates classes, Bari classes, but then Ever since I got a full-time job, it was just not my priority anymore and I just didn't have so much energy to kind of work out and I, and I couldn't find the motivation to do it. And I don't know if it's because of winter or if it's because I have a full-time job, but my back pain has been really pulling out of proportion. It's been really painful these days. I know that exercise helps with it so i am gonna try to make this into a habit or routine that i can follow buy for myself because I'm more of a bag person I would rather spend money on a bag and I don't really care about electronics and I think that a good birthday gift is something that the person wouldn't buy and this is something I wouldn't buy and to be honest I'm a really hard person to get gifts for I have a really specific taste and because of that it's just easier for me to tell my boyfriend what I want so that we don't need to return the gift. You know, I sound very ungrateful, but it's just always how it has always been with me. Let's let's unbox this. It's pretty hard. Wow. Two different sizes. did it off camera because it was so complicated I mean I didn't watch any videos beforehand I was watching it like while I was trying to figure out how it works but this is how it looks like for my first ever try with this era it took me like a good 10 minutes to find out how this could wrap on my hair I definitely need to watch more videos on that but I'd say it doesn't look so bad. My dad and I think maybe it's time.
Hi guys and happy Sunday. I think I haven't really explained that it's actually Sunday and what I'm actually doing today. I have no plans for today. Usually Sunday I just chill at home. I clean the house a little, I take some time to call with my parents. Yeah, you saw in the previous clip that my dogs were also there. <sighs> I miss them so much. I think this weekend I'm gonna start Babel. It's a book that I've bought since June or July and I was saving this book for winter because this feels like a book that you should read on winter because it's dark and it's just, it fits the vibe. So I'm excited to start this and I also finished this book last Friday and I am I feel so sad that this is over. This is, I think, the sequel to a trilogy that have ended in 2017 before I moved to Germany. There was a trilogy called The Darker Shade of Magic and it was one of my favorite magic books, Magic World. And then... They just came out with a new book last year and I didn't know anything about it and this year I only knew about it and I got it and I just love it. It's like 600 pages. It's it's the perfect book for me because you see the fonts are small. I love small fonts and the pages are very thin. I hate books that are huge and the fonts are huge. It's like I'm not a child. I want a book that feels like a like like I'm reading a I don't know, like I'm reading the Bible, even though I don't read the Bible. I'm really excited for the sequel to come out, but I don't think the author has planned on when. I don't know, I don't think that you guys would actually relate a lot if I talk about this, but do you guys read fantasy books? Fantasy magic world? If you want, then I would recommend this book to you. I mean, not this book. You need to read three books before you can read this one. You need to read the Darker Shade of Magic series before you read the Threats of Power series. 